That is so sad. All right, we're at our campground in Yellowstone. It's called Lewis Lake Campground, and let's check it out. It appears the entire campground is at an angle. It's just a nice recline. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to. Oh wow, it's so much further back. This is awesome, it's like super removed. Hey YouTube, that's definitely not our chili from last night that fermented in our car. It's definitely gonna be more flavorful. Is it the right flavor? Who's to say? Um. Avocado chili egg cheese sandwich. Little tip for those of you trying to go to Yellowstone during the summer or peak season. We tried to get a reservation about two months ago, which was not far enough in advance. So we just do first come first serve campsites. And they said they usually fill up around 10 a.m. So we got here around nine. So the analogy we heard for Yellowstone from a friend last night is that it is the Disneyland of national parks, which so far has proven to be true. It's just so populous. More than a dozen people have been scalded to death and hundreds badly burned and scarred. Let's do it. West Thumb Geyser Basin. This is my 10th national park. I believe. How many more do I have to go to before I'm qualified to wear a safari hat? Smashing, smashing, smashing. Let's go swimming, dude. Look how full this parking lot is. We're headed to Old Faithful. I want to complain about how crowded this place is, but I guess it's just cool people are going outside. I think Josh Katz needs a more of a medium between extremely positive and... It's okay to be angry about things, Yeah. You know? Well, here's the thing, like, you guys hear me whine about stuff all day. I'm whining in relativity to how it could be, like, perfectly, but then you step back and it's like, wait, this is still a fantastic scenario. Quack, quack, quack. Baby's ready for it. Just flexing right now. You're all talk. <laughs> it's funny how as soon as it started spraying water on the audience, pretty much everyone left. Ourselves included. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not tougher than anyone. Dude, that's so sick. Just ran into Hayden. Yeah, Hayden. Cool, man. How's your trip been? Dude, pretty good. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't expect to see Josh Katz. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your trip. <laughs> you caught me as I was about to skip the line and go pee in the bushes. Really not sure what we're doing right now, but it's a point of interest. Oh, Mystic Falls Trail Junction. Another little tip, take a photo of the map in case you're lost on the trail. Did you ever play Floor is Lava as a kid? Nope. Oh my god, one of the best games. This is a real life game of Floor is Lava. I hope that's like a game people actually play and not just like my stupid childhood. Path is crazy steep, but I feel like you won't be able to know on video. It never shows. Even though everything here is pretty spectacular, we keep getting a weird feeling about it. We've been trying to figure it out, and we think the reason why is because when you're in a quiet national park and you go upon this new beautiful hike and find something at the end, it feels like an adventure versus here, it just feels like a show. Pretty cool overlook right here. All the way down there is where we started off, right here. I think we still got a ways to go though. Snack break. It's interesting how small these paths are and how many fallen trees there are. This is insane. We're headed back down the mountain. We've got a mile and a half until Mystic Falls. Going a little off path here. <laughs> if you can't tell, this is pretty steep. Got my ND filter on, trying to get some cool shots of this guy. It's gonna be pretty hard not to get some cool shots. Almost back now. I'd say that was about five miles, four and a half. We are gonna head north, and probably picnic. That pretty quickly turned into a two hour reading session slash nap. We go continue the day and hit some more hikes. We're headed to Grand Prismatic Springs and there's this insane line of cars to get in. We decided to park on the street and walk because we kind of expected this. <laughs> It is impossible to predict when this dormant but powerful geyser's next eruption will occur. We're doing Firehole Canyon Drive, and it's just this one-way road along this incredible river, waterfalls, and lots of good stuff. Not too impressive. Seven? Nah, that was way really before. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we got some eggs, firewood, plates, and suggestions from the store manager as for hikes tomorrow morning. It is 8 o'clock and we are at West Thumb. We already came here first thing in the morning today, but apparently it's really nice at dusk. It's also totally empty now. It was packed this morning. There's one guy taking photos over there, and I gotta say it is so much nicer to have this place to myself. 
Trying to get some sunset shots with this incredible geyser in the foreground. Don't really know what to expect though. Quick shameless self-promotion. This tripod has been the real hero of the trip. And I have my entire camera setup in the description of this video if you want to check it out. I also have a video where I talk about my camera setup. Link to that over here. Just the most perfect reflection all across the entire lake. In the bank. Quinn, you're on it once again. Got a solid pasta operation going on right now. We got some gourmet pasta marinara with some garbanzo beans and cheddar cheese. Can't, you could, you could probably beat it. I was gonna say you can't beat it. You, you definitely can beat it. <laughs> Quinn has already set up breakfast. He's the man. Egg, avocado, and salsa. All right, and our set is paid for. West Trump, now. Yeah. Should we try? No, we are employees of Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Hey, have a great rest of your time. Good luck. Good luck. Have a nice day. Those were some lovely Italian hitchhikers. Their English was like just functional. Just functional. Just functional. Just functional. Just functional. Just functional. Yeah, we had some pretty awkward fragments of conversation with them because they sort of understood us at times, other times just not at all. Some serious buffalo action over here. These guys are really close right now. I think the one thing they tell us not to do here is this. We're checking out Artist Point of Lower Falls. We can get We're in Yellowstone Canyon and we're going to do a mile hike to Sublime Point. Know nothing about what to expect. It's funny, a mile in New York, really anywhere, it's just super casual. A mile on the trails when it's uphill and you're climbing a mountain is brutal. Here it is though, Sublime Point. Hike felt great, we're going to try and do one more before we head back to Jackson to pick up Quinn's friend Andre. Lower Brink Falls, I believe, is the name of the hike we want to do. The PB and J operation continues. I'm really anticipating people giving us flack for eating the same things for almost every meal. We're keeping it simple. Apparently this is only three-eighths of a mile, so not bad at all. Shortcuts. Oh. one of those times when I really wish I brought my neck strap for my DSLR. Probably gonna have to hold it over the edge and hope that it doesn't fall out. When the sun hit the bottom of the waterfall right, it created this perfect rainbow. Super hyped on that, so cool. Quinn, what are you looking at? Beaver still? It's a wood chop. Fire. Now for the brutal hike straight up. I definitely prefer the hikes where you hike up and then you earn it. You have like a nice hike down. Here we just kind of stumbled into it. Now we have to hike just to get back. The reward system just isn't there. Three eighths of a mile sounds like nothing. But definitely panting right now. We just bumped into the hitchhikers we found on the way here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are your names? Gianluca. Michael. And where are you guys from? <laughs> we are Italian. Hi, yeah. <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> Good, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> it's the second time in this machine. We're driving back to Jackson to pick up one of our friends from the airport. We're going to get some dinner out there, and this book, Helter Skelter, so far is fantastic. We were tipped off in this pizza spot by one of Kyle's Tinder matches. Thank you to, what was her name? Sophie. Sophie, you're the best. It is 5.15 a.m. We're full on water, our car is even fuller. And we're ready for our last day in Yellowstone. Let's catch the sunrise. I really wanted either a bison or a really nice smoke on the water sunrise shot. Yeah, I think we have the potential for both right now. I'm going after this bison real quick. Beautiful sky in the back too. Oh man. Currently standing on a fence to get this photo. I think it's doing a handstand right now. Just give it, give it some space. Oh my God. This guy is huge. This fog is absolutely insane. I gotta try and take a photo here. Alright man, what you got? Oh, check this out. There's a no drone sign right here. We're checking out Norris Geyser Basin and it smells terrible. All these geysers, they smell of sulfur and it kind of smells like rotten eggs, I imagine. Fart bags. Yeah. Fart some bombs. Rotten egg fart bombs.
for our last stop of the trip, we're checking out Mammoth Hot Springs. Oh, definitely looks like another planet. Been rejuvenated by those Huevos Rancheros. We're on to Quinn's place in Montana for the night, and then Glacier National Park tomorrow morning. Your top is open. Yeah. Holy shit. This is a rental. We think it just might have popped open on that on ramp. Thank you so much, man. We're so sorry. Our trunk somehow came open on the highway, and a sleeping bag came out. We're not sure what else, if anything, fell out. Where's my air mattress? After a good seven or eight hour drive, we're now back at Quinn's place in Montana, headed to Glacier National Park tomorrow, and it has been four days since I've showered, so I'm excited about that. All right, hope you enjoyed the Yellowstone video. Three things I wanna say before we wrap this up. First, I feel like I need to offer a little bit of insight into my photo process. It might seem like it's super casual the way the photos just flash across the screen, but in actuality, it's much more tedious. So I showed about 19 photos in this video, I think, whereas I took about 300 photos in Yellowstone total. And sometimes a photo takes so long to take, it can be like 20 minutes of waiting, trying to get different shots, and I might take 20 shots and only like one of them. Sometimes I'll shoot something for a while and not even get any shots that I liked, and that definitely happened on this trip. So know that it's much harder that I made it look in the video, and, and it's not easy for me either. That being said, if you want to see more of my photos, link to my Instagram right over here, and if you want to see all my favorite photos ever, I have a portfolio on my website, and I don't talk about this very much because it's nothing special, but if you do want to see all of my favorite photos I've ever taken, links to my website portfolio down below. The second thing I want to say, if you want to see more National Park videos, you can watch my Grand Teton video right here, and that was the first two days of this National Park road trip, and this Yellowstone video was the third, fourth, and fifth, and if you want to see all of my National Park videos ever. I have a playlist full of them. Link to that playlist down below. Last final thing I want to say in this video is I have a Glacier National Park video coming up very soon. It was the third and final National Park stop on this road trip. I still need to edit it, but I'm going to get to that right now. And that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you eventually.